Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm a personal and executive coach at newbie.com, and I specialize in scientifically validated tools and techniques to improve success and happiness in life. I'm going to be talking about how to teach life tools to teens and youth. One of the first things you need to realize when teaching life skills is that it's important to actually ask your, your teen, ask the child to perform the skills that you want them to, to learn. It's not enough just to talk to them about it, to tell them about it. In fact, one study showed that uh, people who had been giving chores at a, as a child or as a teenager when they were younger turn out to be more well-adjusted, more psychologically healthy, and happier later on in life. And it's because they were given responsibilities that they were able to learn these life skills. So for example, if you want your, your son or your daughter to learn the life skill of being able to cook and clean for themselves, you, you may find that you're already uh, cooking all their meals and you're cleaning up after them. Well, you could try giving them a, a weekly chore of making dinner for the entire family. And uh, it's important also to remember with teens especially, they want to assert their independence a lot. They want to make their own choices. So while you're giving them the chores, it's also important to give them a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of individual choice. So you may say to them, you can choose whatever you want to make. You can decide on, on the meal. You could uh, decide how you're going to make it. You maybe want to decide whether you want to do it alone or with your brother and sister. Giving them some sort of flexibility will get, go a long way uh, to making them more um, internally want to do the particular thing. And the final thing to remember is that uh, you should have consequences for these responsibilities. So a responsibility is really meaningless if, uh, if it doesn't come with uh, certain consequences for not following through. So maybe you want to teach, for example, the life skill of being good with managing finances. You may, as part of your uh, weekly chores that you assign, give a small allowance. But you want to make sure you obviously only give them that allowance after that chore has been done. And then they have, let's say, a week to spend that money and if they're uh, halfway through the week and they've already spent it and they come asking for more, they have to learn that there's consequences for not managing their money and they're not going to get any more until the next time that they're supposed to get it. So just remember that. Give assignments, give chores, make sure they have responsibility and a certain amount of choice to go along with that. And you'll go a long way to teaching life skills that are going to be valued and lasted throughout their life. Best of luck.